What makes the Heise Cat hull design so unique and so different from, from other planing catamaran hulls? Uh, there's basically five main characteristics to the uh, hull design. Uh, it consists out of an asymmetrical demi hulls uh, with a symmetrical bow section and uh, I've discussed the bow section at an earlier stage. The symmetrical bow section is uh, to prevent uh, extreme uh, movement when you come into following sea conditions. Uh, it's got a, a step behind the, the symmetrical hull uh, bow which is uh, creating a vortex. We then have F air pipes running from the anchor locker that feeds air underneath the hull. So when you get into a situation where you run in a big following sea and the bow of the boat gets wetted, uh, it's often uh, in catamarans that it would suck to the water. With the airflow coming through the, the vent pipe, it tends to break loose and not suck to the water in, in some, uh, like some other catamarans. We have a double arc tunnel, uh, which is also unique. Uh, most catamarans would have a square tunnel. Uh, water flows in curves and in circles and, and, and not really in squares. So with a double arc tunnel, when you have your water coming up the sides of the hole, it would flow back into the water with a center, with a center pot. So it, it really assists with the, the soft ride, uh, where you don't have a big flat surface that the water can, uh, can, can hit. Uh, then there's a, a wave spoiler in the front uh, of the boat, there's a, a, a wave breaker. So if you hit a big wave, it actually breaks up the water into aerated water and then you have some not solid water actually hitting your, your, your boat. And then we have uh, a very specialized spray rail, which I've mentioned before, which is a tapered spray rail. And, and the function of the tapered spray rail is, is to concentrate the vortex of the water underneath the hull to, to uh, prevent air from, from, uh, from, from getting in underneath the hull, especially for um, uh, jet propulsion, uh, so, uh, jet, jet drives, or even for your propellers, the, the white water or the aerated water will go in a vortex and that will actually go out the back of the hull without introducing the air onto the, um, onto the propellers. Another big advantage of the Heisekat hull design is that Catamaranks in general have a bad tendency when they turn to lean towards the outside. Monohull boat, when you turn, will bank inwards. Most catamaranks will have a tendency to bank outwards. The um, Heisekat hull design, uh, uh, co combined with the, the way that we mount the engines on the back, which is mounted at an angle, uh, normally around the seven degree angle, uh, have an extremely good turning uh, capability uh, uh, banking inwards like a monol and you could turn at very high speed and you can do very very good um, short high speed turns uh, for some military operations this is a very important factor it, it, it's got a much shorter turning circle um, in, 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 in sea conditions so that's that's another another major characteristic of, of the particular hull design and the dead rise of the hulls um, and in a nutshell, again, just to summarize the uh, hydrofoil advantages, is uh, basically less power required, improved consumption, longer range, stable, smooth and dry operation in rough water conditions, improved load carrying capacity, uh, uh, require less power, superior turning capabilities, prevent broaching, increase safety, outstanding sea keeping, damping effect reduce fatigue and motion sickness extending long longevity at sea environmentally friendly smaller wake lower emissions high speed performance and surface piercing propeller technology and uh, inexpensive system for major improvements up to 40 percent